me to bugger up a brand new extension cord, Mike. You know how to get your extension cords from your store? Take and wrap paper on them like they've been fixed, like they're an old. Oh. That nobody wants them. Nobody wants to steal it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, <laughs> my shoulder isn't hurting. I know, the pain that I had before, <clears throat> it healed itself. Um, <clears throat> well, I guess it did. Anyways, it doesn't hurt. So today, I'm going to get back to work here on cutting this burnt piece out. And I'm just gonna use my zip disc and outline a flat section and see about cutting a new section out on um on that cab piece that i have so anyways without further ado let's get to it <laughs> okay You know, fuck it. Frick it. It's not gonna be as easy as I thought. It's never as easy as I thought, like. Ooh, ouch. That's just my knee. <laughs> <sighs> So the little die grinder is a little underpowered. Yeah. So we're gonna use the big die grinder. Mm. I wanna go. Of course it's made for right-handed people. Thank God. That'll work. I'm getting sparks. 
the best that can be there. You're gonna have to cut these gussets off. Apparently, it's got metal in them. There. Now I have a thin sheet of fiberglass that I could glaze over and I'm going to put a panel in here. I just got to do some more grinding down. Once I get the panel in, then I'll reinforce it on the back side. But uh, I think I could go to a template and I'm going to blow all this off and blow myself off because I made a mess. I oh, know. <laughs> What a fun kid. Whoop. Okay guys, so this is what we got going on. <laughs> I got my hole. So <clears throat> I cut out all this rotten stuff. I'm gonna go cut a panel out of that salvage sleeper piece. And this is very, very thin. So when I sanded it down, all the fluff was coming off. I was told you need to get down to <clears throat> like white fiberglass to make it shtick. So that's what I did. Um, 
I don't think I can go much farther, but this is thin, so I gotta build it up. So I'm just gonna take the grinder, clean this up, um, uh, thin this down so I lay fiberglass in here, it uh, builds it up or whatever. So I'm just gonna bevel this edge, do the same here, and, um, and then I can cut the panel for here. Now here, I'm just gonna build up over top of it, and then I'm gonna cut this out and put a panel in there, I think. Um, and yeah, just, you know what, give her a whirl. And this is actually good and sturdy, so I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit more, try and get the burnt out of it, and, uh, and then put a layer of fiberglass on it, and um, yeah, see if it sticks. So, anyways, I'll carry on. That's a messy job, but somebody's got to do it. Um, so here's my panel <laughs> that's burnt that I cut out. Now, if you look, this is kind of interesting. You can kind of see what I'm doing here. You can see the burnt layers and the non, or at least the layers that are still there. So essentially I'm taking all these off on the part that's still there and the stuff that's still stuck together, it's, um, yeah, that's what, that's what's still on the cab. So we're gonna layer it up. You can see there's a gusset here. It's got a steel plate. I cut it off, um, but I think that's the top of it. So I'm gonna take, well, first I'm gonna cut a piece off of the donor and then I'm either gonna take these off, probably take these off or at least that one and, um, and transition them to this piece because this piece doesn't have any, or I could take some of that, so. Ah, so, now I just gotta trace it out and cut it out. Okay, so, <laughs> let's give this a go. Let's give it a go!
Shoot. The panel's too big. Because you can see there's a rib there. Uh, okay, let's find a different piece. Different donorage. Different donorage, Mike. Should have measured this first. There's a seam right there. Is it going to be enough though? Probably not. <sighs> yeah, that's not enough. Shoot. It's the same here. It's there's that line, and I don't want a line because this is straight. So I think I'm gonna have to take it out of the roof. Bar. Repairman extraordinaire. It's like a repaint. Ugh. Okay, so. Let's go right there like that. I think that'll work. We're gonna make it work. Cause it's what we got. Okay, okay.
So that, I think the the gussets in behind her holding it, mm -hmm. which is kind of good because then I don't need to make one. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I know, you're not surprised. Uh, so when I traced this out, I never thought about the fact that it was face to face. So when I put this up, the right way for it to fit is like that on the outside. And it needs to be like that or like that. But then these angles are all wrong. So, <sighs> So, I only really have one spot and I can't do the whole piece. Or, I either have to add a piece here and have it short, or do that, and then have to have it be straight and then add the, the, the pointy part. So I think that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna add the pointy part. And I feel like an idiot, but, that's life. At least I didn't pay for this big chunk of fiberglass. And the cool thing is, it's got these gussets. So I don't have to glue gussets to it. I don't have to try and take those ones off. It's kind of awesome actually. But yeah, when I laid this on here, I should have laid it like that. Because that's how it goes. Uh, well, at least fiberglass, you can patch it, right? <laughs> Learn to do by buggering it up. Well, we got 100% warranty, you can do it over. <laughs> Gosh, I can't believe I could be so stupid. Well, yes, I can. The problem is if we go here, there's all kinds of giant gussets under there. So it's going to be like gusset here, gusset there. And I mean, we want this for rigidity, but we also need, um, like I'll even have to cut this off because this overhangs on that lip. So, which isn't a big deal as long as I don't wreck this edge. Cause now this is the viewed edge. So it needs to be Well, like straight. that, that actually is the best edge. Yeah. Like that one there is a little bit. Well, that one I got carried away. Effed up. Um, you know, it might be just as easy to cut these gussets off. Yeah, but then put it I, on this way. Then I don't have gel coat on it or nothing no, to sand. You have now. to fill well, it, fill it, and sell it, and or fill it and sand it. And... I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna cut one more out yep. right there and then try it. And if that doesn't work, then we'll do this way and then I'll have to gel coat it. Yeah. How is it? Well, they spray the gel coat in first. Yeah. And then they put the fiberglass on the gel coat. But I wonder if you can spray the gel coat on last or put the gel coat on last. You can, like before paint or whatever. Yeah, well then. But I don't know. I'm gonna have to watch some more YouTube videos to figure that out. If you can do that, then you can just spray the gel coat on here. Mm-hmm. And seeing as how you're gonna have to cut these anyways. And like, I think it's just that strip. 
Mm-hmm. Well, I didn't realize how tall that cap is. Like mm-hmm. I thought this was going to be tall enough, but it ain't. So sh- why isn't it? Because there's a line right here. Because it, it, oh. but it's on the side too. Oh, I see. Right yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. So if I did that, then I would have a line. Yeah. And I don't want a line. But. Because uh, of course, then I still have to put gussets on the other side. So if I just, yeah, I'm just going to cut this out and then I'll just have to fix that. No problem. No problem. Famous last words. Well, learn by doing. <laughs> it's my motto. Learn to do by buggering it up. Hey, <clears throat> you're my son, so don't feel bad. This end was a little rough to because I yeah. was trying to outline that. Yep. Well, this has a line there. Well, it's a paint line though. It, oh, yeah. It's like this thing was repainted once. You know how to keep your extension cords from being stolen? Take and wrap paper on them like they've been fixed, like they're an old. Oh. That nobody wants. Them. Nobody wants to steal it. Let's go try fitting it. I've got to trim the this bottom part off. If I line that up, line up. I think that's pretty good, actually. And I just have to fix this screw up. <sighs> well, that's gonna have to work, so. Anyways, that's it for me, guys. I gotta go to a hockey game, so we'll either catch you in the next one, maybe see you tomorrow. I don't know. At least we'll see you tomorrow. Or the next day. I don't know. I gotta go.